we, we can talk about some of the some of the disadvantages and, and advantages of a DML in, in that scenario, um, perhaps next. But yeah, let, let me draw you that um, scenario. So perhaps I'll draw it in two stages. So to begin with, in, in let's say the simpler stage, you know, here is here is our conventional loudspeaker, and here is our here's a boundary. So we know from let's say from a uh, you know, a, a line of flight. You know, we can say that there's, you know, direct sound comes off here, and sound will come off to the side. It will hit the hit the boundary. It will reflect back. And where these two coincide, there's going to be interference because there there's a strong correlation between the the phase of these signals. So they will cause an, an interference effect. Now we can highlight this a little bit more. I'll just erase these lines, and we'll replace these lines with a series of wavefronts at a given frequency. So we've got uh, wavefronts coming off here, like so. And these wavefronts, when they, when they meet the boundary, I'll continue the boundary here, they create reflections, like so. And what we find is where these reflected wavefronts meet the outgoing wavefronts, you often you get a, a region of cancellation or Enhancement, and that's, that's like a hot spot or a cold spot in the room. Now, this is just for one frequency, and we know sound is made up of, you know, music is made up of complex, and speech is made up of complex components of frequencies. Um, but you can see how, in a given reverberant space, these interference effects will, you know, your, your ear will perceive these um, in frequency and in space. So, if we look at this now for a, for a DML, um, and again, this is not, not particularly easy to draw, um, but we can sort of imagine, here's our panel. Instead of having these nice defined wavefronts, we have this sort of, you know, diffuse energy that's kind of coming out from the panel, like so. And of course, the energy is still reflected from the boundary, but, you know, you look for an interference effect in here, you don't really see any, any strong interference effect. What you see is it just fills the room in a nice, smooth, even way.